What is up you beautiful people? In this video, I'm going to show you how exactly to create killer YouTube thumbnails that look like this, this or this for your YouTube channel or for your clients, whichever you like. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, you know chat GPT can produce amazing Ghibli images. And if you are one of those who has created these, then welcome to the club. I have also done one for myself. However, beyond this, there are a lot of use cases of chat GPT and thumbnail is one of them. And in fact, one of the most productive ones that you can use chat GPT for, right? So let me show you how exactly to create YouTube thumbnails using chat GPT. There are two ways to go about it. Way number one is you use your brain power and like uh, put all sorts of masala and you come up with a creative idea and, you know, create a thumbnail around it. Or way number two, you copy something that already exists and already winning, right? So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, create one for ourselves. So I have been really thinking to publish some business case studies in this channel because I'm at heart an entrepreneur and I'm kind of bored with AI content. And if you want some business case studies though, do comment below and let me know what kind of businesses would you like to understand, read and like, and I can obviously create some case studies around it. That'll be so awesome, right? But I have come up with some cool ideas that I have. One of the ideas is... Um, the $3,000 mistake, 3,000 crore mistake that almost killed Paytm. So that's a very cool title. So let's just go ahead and type in chat GPT that, hey, um, brainstorm with me. Let's come up with clickable thumbnail idea for the YouTube video titled this all right <laughs> i have custom trained my ai so it writes like a human being so go up the thumbnail instantly scream disaster show money loss feel like damn i need to know the story all right so there is a heart attack moment vijay shakha shakha sharma ptm found a super stress in the fa face holding his head and sweating okay so now what i can do is come up with a detailed prompt for concept one actually let's just go through all the concept the oops moment visual actually this is much better i like concept two concept two that i can feed into an ai image generator and create a fantastic youtube thumbnail let's come up with a prompt let's see what happens i love that concept number two i love this how it has come up with a nice little prompt all right so let's use this and um, we can go ahead and create create uh, a 16 as to 9 YouTube thumbnail of as your thumbnail. Oh yeah. Let it create this particular thumbnail and let's wait and see what kind of results it it gives us. Okay. All right. So this is a thumbnail that AI has given us, which is honestly not something that is great. Though I can surely change it, I would ask it to remove the 3000 CR thing and oops thing. I would just change it to like, hey, uh, remove the, um, so let's change this, which is like, remove the paper note and miss the text in it. And also remove the oops uh, thing. Keep it simple, Paytm logo disrupted and in the center with blue gradient from left and red gradient from right uh, glow the downward moving graph and Paytm logo we can use. 
we can use this logo probably use the logo above okay now let's see what kind of a result it brings us lovely Look at this. Although I, it's not exactly the logo of Paytm for sure. I, th I think it is. Oh yeah, it did take. Oh my God, this is awesome. <laughs> not a bad thumbnail. I probably could have could add like 3000 CR something around here and point like this. I'm a big believer of the words of Austin Cleon, which says steal like an artist. Now what we can do is instead of trying to come up with a whole new thumbnail of our own, why don't we steal something that is already existing and already working well, right? So what I'll do is I'll just copy, you know, Paytm. Let's say mistake that almost killed Paytm on YouTube. Okay. This is so good. <laughs> look at this. Uh, 9.1 million views. Now let's look at more videos. And we have come up with this. So I got two good thumbnails here, right? So let's download these thumbnails first how do you download this thumbnails so you click on these buttons click on share and go to something called as youtube thumbnail grabber okay you can go here and paste the youtube url and this tool will give you the thumbnails that you need now you can copy this click on copy image go back to chat gpt and we can ask hey create a very similar thumbnail but remove the guy in left and keep it blank so that i can use my own image later in photoshop and we can do the same thing with this one just dhrubrati video and get another image and we can remove dhrubrati from here and change the end of ptm Actually, we can remove the end of word and instead of the end, write 3000 CR. Right? Pretty much the same thing. I will say change the text from the end of to 3000 CR. Now, you still have to do a little bit of manual things here. The reason being, it's not very perfect as you would see like it won't have the same image see the hairstyle is already different so doesn't really make a lot of sense but at least you can steal a lot of the background stuff there you go but the graph is not very consistent i love i mean we could obviously change this the graph is not consistent make the graph consistent all of that stuff but well it's a pretty decent thumbnail we can also ask it to resize it and keep it in center so that there is space for another guy now we have rubrati's thumbnail and let's see how how it creates the one that we want now while it creates that let me do this okay let's download this picture and um, let's make our thumbnail we'll go to canva for this and click on create a design that is youtube thumbnail and we can drag and drop the image from chat gpt add it to our stuff right oh so this is definitely not 16 by <laughs> so ai yeah, does make mistakes all right not so bad though what we can do is we can use canva certain features so that it can help us out so i'll just first duplicate this thing and i will go ahead and um, you know basically see if i can remove the background all right so all right so this is definitely out and um from the la you no know, picture in the back we'll edit this and we'll use something like magic eraser from canva so that we can remove this graph and i don't like this graph that it has added okay and let's remove this Now, 
what we'll do is now I can extend this image so that it fills the whole thing. So I can go to edit and there is something called as uh, magic expand and click on whole page. What this will do is it will expand this image to the right. This looks uh, okay-ish, I guess. Now, we'll come back. Now you see this on the background, there's the sharp angle, which is kind of removed, thankfully for the razor. And here on the right, I can use one of my images and I'll pick one of the images that I have uploaded on YouTube. So let's say this one. Instead of a smiling face, I think I might have a serious face which looks something like this and let's see if we can add this and see how that looks <laughs> all right i'll uh, edit this picture and see if i can remove the shadow none and we can put this picture behind the picture of bhavish here okay so we can do this and edit position you go to layers and put oops it looks horrible <laughs> all right so what i'll do is i'll just crop this section properly all right now i understand this is no the it's not the best thumbnail in the world but it is definitely getting the job done and if i see it like a youtube thing then it is kind of okay. I don't like how the lighting of the image here. So I'll just kind of auto adjust that and see what can be done. The temperature can be a little bit cold. The clarity could increase. And it also increase the sharpness of this. No, it doesn't look that great. Okay. Sharpness I'll reduce and see if it can kind of match the vibes of the other one okay okay so i think this is okay i'll not worry about it too much now anyways anybody who sees the thumbnail they'll see it like this right like a tiny little fleck so what we'll do is we'll kind of use this for now now i'm not a graphic designer being very frank if you are a graphic designer you'll probably do a much better job than i did but it got the job done right we can obviously change the background if you want later but it's decent paytm thumbnail one or thumbnail this is thumbnail one let's use the other one i hope gpd has created the other one okay uh so we can download this one and let's see how we can create this for ourselves all right, so again, we'll do the same thing where we will um, expand. I forgot. Okay, magic expand, whole page, expand like this. All right. I like the first one itself. And I'll probably use the same picture here and add it here. And this one is more warm in tone. So... What we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to adjust and see if I can increase the temperature of this one to match this. Okay. Now, this is another thumbnail that we are going with. I know these thumbnails are really horrible, but they look decent. Right. And the third thumbnail that we'll be using if I create the video is the Paytm guy. Okay. Now, here I'll again do the same thing. Because YouTube allows you to test three thumbnails at once. So let's just go ahead and test these three and see which one gives us the most traction. Right. Let's expand this as much as we can. And Paytm's logo is kind of in center right now. And now let's go ahead and edit and expand this. Okay. Whole page, expand. And let's see what kind of expansion it creates. So now we are using GPT and Canva to create a tool like this. Now for this kind of effect, you will definitely need Canva Pro or Premium subscription. 
So I suggest you do that. It's a great investment. Honestly, I think barely it's like 400 rupees a month or something. So, you know, it's a good, good investment. So that's a decent thumbnail. Look at this. It's very professional, right? Sure, you can probably, I can, I can do stuff like, let's say I add this, let's say I add like a shape, which will be like, uh, I don't know. I have a couple of this, this picture I want to add here. Uh, whatever color this has this and I'll delete this used here and make it black and I'll say 3000 CR and now that is a good thumbnail there you go all right now let's see if we can remove the background and see you know if we can put this 3000 CR loss oops sorry I'll duplicate this first. So for that, do control D and do a background remover. And then we are good to go. So tell me these are not good thumbnails. These are pretty decent, right? I like the third one the most. Uh, but this might also work. This might also work. And this might also work. I don't know which one will work, but we can test all three. So this is a short and simple guide to creating fantastic YouTube thumbnails with the help of ChatGPT and a little bit of Canva right here. Now, if you like this video, drop a comment, show me some love, and I'll be creating more such video very, very soon. And apart from AI stuff, if you are interested in learning real business, how big businesses have been built or broken down, or the mistakes that they have made, uh, drop a comment if you'd be interested. Say, yes, I'm interested in the comments, then I will plan this and uh, hopefully share some value with you. Because I generally feel learning AI alone isn't going to be enough. You also need to understand how businesses are built and how they're eventually using AI to kind of disrupt industries and market. So let me know in the comments and see you in the next video.